my customers has revised its homepage. Hopefully you find it more intuitive and helpful to manage and organize and prioritize your day. Today I'm gonna to focus on check-ins, a really great feature that will automatically give me credit for the visit. If I'm familiar with my territory and I don't need to route myself there, I simply just show up at the front door. I hit this check-in button right in the middle of the screen. It's big and blue. Once I click on that, I have a couple of options. The system will notice where you stand and suggest for you to check into the company where it believes you are. However, if I'm on a block where there's multiple companies that I do business with, and it's by chance suggesting a company that is across the street or down the road, I can hit no view more and it will show me all companies that are within a 10 mile radius. So I can select from a list, the true company where I am. In this case, it has, uh, it has accurately uh, found me. So I'm gonna click on confirm company. The activity has been created successfully. You'll see it show on the list on the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to take notes because I know exactly what I need to get accomplished and what the next steps are. I'm gonna click on take notes. I'm going to use speech to text if I want, hit the, magnify, uh, hit the microphone uh, and go ahead and speak into the phone. Or I can simply use my keypad to take my notes about what it is that I got completed there. I can also come in here and select the person that I interacted with. So in this instance, I'm going to say I interacted with Kim. So now I know I went to this company and spoke to this person. I hit save activity and then I hit yes. I confirm I want to save this activity and it's now been successfully created. If for some reason I've determined that this company in particular requires a follow-up in a couple of months, and I definitely don't want to forget that, I'm going to quickly add an activity to remind myself that I need to follow up in a couple of months. So I'm going to hit the universal plus button at the top of the screen, or I can click the add activity button, the light blue button that you see in the middle right above check-in. I can click add activity. I can select the type of uh, interaction that I need to have at that time. I'm going to mark it as incomplete because it is for the future. I'm going to put notes about exactly what my follow-up needs to be to remind myself and jog my memory. I'm going to set the date and time. So I know that I need this to be two months in the future, which is February 26th. I can set the time that I want that to happen. And then I can associate it and choose the company that I want it to happen with. So this is going to be with that company that I just checked into. I'm going to hit done. And then I'm gonna select the person I wanna follow up with. This time Kim has referred me to Liz. So Liz is going to be the person that I wanna follow up with. And I'm going to either hit save activity because that's the only cadence I need to keep. Or if I know that this particular business needs multiple uh, check-ins every two months, I can hit save and create and create another one for two months in the future from, from February. So if I hit save and create, it's going to ask me if I want to save and create a duplicate or save and create a brand new uh, a brand new activity type. I'm going to save and create a duplicate. It's going to uh, mirror all of the things that I just created pr uh, prior. This time I need to make sure that I have the updated notes for what I'm going to need to do in April. Maybe this time it's not going to be a visit. Maybe this time it's going to be a lunch. I change that. I changed the due date, so I want to say not February, but April now. So April 26th is the time I want to follow up. Maybe I want to do that at 10 a.m. And then these are the people that I want to follow up with in April. And I simply hit save activity. I can continue to keep hitting save and create to create multiple future activities for myself that will populate on my calendar or I can just uh, leave it at that and leave it up until April for me to follow up with this particular organization. You'll notice that these then show up on recently created, and then they will show up if you toggle over to upcoming activities. It will show you all the ones that are going to be happening in the future.